Hi everybody, I'm Kim Bourgeois Landry and I'm the Wonky Quilter. Thanks for joining me today. A little short video, I just wanted to share a couple of things that I have found, I don't know, a little exciting and I thought maybe I'd share with people a few things that you can pick up that are really good for your quilting life that you don't have to go to the quilting store, the fabric store, the big box store, anything like that. Like I was with my husband at a car repair place and look what I came out with. I even bought him one. Look at how big um, the magnet is. It's really sizable. So the next time a needle just slips out or a pin slips away, just, I don't even have to bend over. I'm gonna tell you this is a game changer, game changer. Very inexpensive. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I really feel like if I went to the quilting store, I could have gotten this thing, kind of thing, but it would have been, you know, six bucks instead of a dollar or dollar 98 or something, you know, so take a ride out to the, um, hardware store or to the car repair place and see what you can come up with. Another thing. I mean, I know there are like thousands of men out there quilting, so I hope some of you are listening to me sometimes too. This is something that I learned about from my husband when we're out at the lake. How about this thing? I mean, first of all, I am never going to a retreat again with a regular flashlight for walking around at night. I'm now the headlamp girl, I gotta say. And the light that this puts out, I'm not even going to turn it on. It turns on right here. It has three lights or two lights or one light. And I think it even has a strobe in case you're in trouble. But when the lights go out, you could, this girl can, can still quilt. This one is by Energizer. Like, you know, the battery people. There it is right there. It's adjustable. Maybe all of you have one. I now have two of these. It will, it'll, it travels with me everywhere I go, not just to quilting things. I haven't traveled that much, but I will be in the near future. I will be traveling um, to learn quilting and whatnot. But um, everywhere I go, I'm bringing this with me because you never know when, when you'll need a light. Do you know? It's little, it's compact. And I'm gonna tell you, it puts out a beam far away. Um, when I went to my G's Bend uh, retreat far, far away from home and we were out in the country, people were following me because my, my headlamp was so powerful. So these are the two things that um, not only travel with me, but I think are very, very valuable that you don't have to go anywhere near a quilting store to get. Um, but really, everybody's toolbox needs these two things. And another thing I wanted to share with you this week is a recommendation. Those were recommendations, but Jennifer Clouston, who is from Australia. I think she's originally from South Africa, but she now lives with her husband and I think her children are grown and out of the house, but she's lived, she's lived her grown life in Australia. This is one of the first books I ever bought. I was just enchanted by the cover art of this book. Foolproof Crazy Quilting. And it's the best of everything. It is crazy quilting, which for me, the wonky quilter, odd shapes and odds, is so appealing. And it's all done in hexes with fancy, very Victorian, looking stitches on top of that. So it really has the primitive, um, use what you have kind of feeling. It has the beautiful embroidery stitches on top from, you know, the Victorian age. And it's got a bunch of little hexes on it. I want to just show you the front of this book. Look at that. So you see, there's nothing crazy about this. It's very patterned. Her work is very patterned. Um, this little tiny book right here has 
everything you need. It is like a dictionary of stitches. A dictionary of stitches. There are, you know, I don't, I, I want to open it up and show you something, but I also don't want to get in trouble. So like hexa, hexagon number 22, it has all of these. I'm not going to show you any of the directions, but I will show you it has lines that um, will show you what stitch to go to. And then there are directions on every single stitch. I, in my lifetime, will do some work by this woman. I don't know what it is about Australian quilters. What is it? Because I also want to do the Gypsy Wife, you know, which is by, oh, y'all, I can't think of her name right now. But anyway, this was one of the first books I bought. I have lent this to several people. Everybody, um, very talented quilters, kind of ooh and ah over this. It is just the cat's meow. That's all I can say. So if you can, this book is put out by C&T Publishing, right here. It was an expensive book. I think when I bought this, and I think I bought it, I bought, I've had this way before I started quilting. I was just so enchanted by the book, and I can't show you anything else on the inside, but it, everything in the book is really this beautiful with step-by-step -step instructions for all of these embroidery stitches. Um, it's just remarkable. And the book was right under $30, but it's well worth it. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've laid in bed just looking at this and reading. I think by the time I'm ready to work on it, I won't be so intimidated by it. Um, and I may never make this whole quilt because I'm not a finisher of things, I'm a starter of things. I don't know, don't even ask. But I mean, I may end up just doing, you know, a block or two. But this is, I've been thinking about this a lot because this is reminding me of the English paper piecing that I'm doing. Because this is, um, the hexi is about as big as my hand. It's a pretty big hexi, but it's one thing that you can bring with you, you can travel with. Um, which is what is so awesome about the English paper piecing, is that you can zip lock all of those things up and carry them with you. Um, she's got a blog. Um, she has several other books she's written. Let's see. Um, she said she started stitching after her first child and discovered that she really, what called her more was handwork, more so than machine work. Um, and that's kind of the same with me, although I'm having fun with my machine. Hand, hand work is my I don't know. It's it's the real deal for me, you know. So I think a lot of this is, I think what I have to learn with this, she talks about fusing a lot. And I know nothing about those kinds of things. Though we're, those are, you know, you start talking about fusing and I'm like, ooh, that's sewing kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm gonna learn about it, I'm gonna learn about it. But I really wanted to share this with y'all. Look her up online, you know, get one of her books. And I, I know, um, almost $30, but there are patterns in here. There are templates. It's a good book. You know, it really is. It's a good, well thought out, really good teaching book. And we'll teach you how to do some really extraordinary things. So anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to share, I think I'm going to just start sharing the people that kind of, um, inspire me and Jennifer, Clauston is one of them, and uh, I hope they'll do the same for you, and I hope you'll join me next time. Go to my YouTube page. I'd like it if you subscribe, like, share, leave me a comment, and let me know what you'd like to hear. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next time. Kim Bourgeois Landry, and I'm the Wonky Quilter. Bye.